Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ratchet and Clank. In the previous episode, we got the grind boots, and then we grinded on this nice fancy rail right here, and we landed right here, and now we're gonna go up here and see if we can find the jetpack, because that's what we're looking for. But, uh, so far, not really sure what we're doing. I woke up this morning, I know today's like a different recording day in general, but uh, I woke up this morning and I'm feeling a little, little under the weather. Not not a ton, but just a little bit. My throat's a little scratchy and it kind of feels weird, so that's not fun. But other than that, I'm feeling uh, pretty good. Pretty good about today. And uh, I just was really excited to play this game again, so I couldn't not, keep, or not play today. And look, we got more sand sharks on this planet. That's new. I don't remember them being here. Hey, hey, Lombax, come here. Uh, are you the crates? Hello? Hello, sir. I don't even. I don't. I don't know what was just talking to me, but uh, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Oh, is don't he? Don't worry. I'm a friend. That guy's a friend. Is it him? I know who you are. You're the Lombax and the Warbot from the news. Oh, and you must be the faceless minion helping Drek terrorize the galaxy. That's just my day job. My real passion is in amateur neuroscience. I've been collecting brains from telepathopuses as a hobby for about a year now. You collect brains as a hobby? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say you're single. Studying brains is a noble pursuit. If I can tap into the psychic powers of these telepathopuses, I'll be able to raise an army. Then we'll see who thinks they can steal my food out of the company fridge. I mean, I can contribute to the good of all blog kind. Say, if you can collect a few telepathopus brains for me, I'll give you this jetpack. Oh, so it's one of these collection things. He said the P word. I'm pretty sure he said the P word. I'm not 100% on that, but it sounded like he said the P word. Uh, oh, right, we got the plasma strike in here. Yeah, we'll, we will probably have to end up buying that at some point because I want to get like 100%, so I'll probably end up buying that. That's probably a trophy is like buy all the weapons or something, blah, blah, blah. You can find brains but, growing in egg sacs or in a fully grown telepathic. Like this thing? Yeah. This is disgusting. <laughs> all right. You got one! Nice work. This shouldn't be that bad. Yes. This part's a little new. I don't remember collecting brains Things in the I old game. You, but uh, I guess this is like the new section of this level because we already kind of played through the classic part. So now they're absolutely. Oh, look at these guys! Oh, I forgot about these dudes. They were on like the uh, the green planet, uh, Aroxon or something like that, right? Oh man. Alrighty. So oh yeah, we got Mr. Mr. Zircon. Gotta remember all the controls again for a new day, but that's okay. These are the moments Mr. Zircon lives for. Dun, da, da, da. Kill all the things. Oh, look at that giant whatever that is. That looks like a giant bug of some sort. Okay, so we can't fly that way. Alright. Oh, this is like the collection part of this game, I guess. Like, we've done these before kind of things where you had to collect like the Leviathan souls, etc. And, oh, okay, we gotta press some buttons in that time frame. There we go. Yeah, so we get, we've collected the Leviathan souls in the past. Disgusting. And horns, and now we're gonna collect some brains. So not, not too different. Mr. Zircon only to kill you. Oh, look at that. You see that snipe on that thing? The, uh, the selection thing told me to do this to do like a little bit of crowd control in the, uh, when the game was loading up today. So I was like, hey, I've already learned how to do that. Because this is like the classic, just kind of running around, not aiming like this. But I tend to aim a lot because. It feels like it's first-person controls when it's really not, but it's like you aim with L1, you shoot with R1. I guess that's how, kind of how it was supposed to be with L2 and R2, but I like having L1, R1, and then L2 is just like an instant high jump and long jump. Do 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 do. Roasted. Oh, these guys are on this planet too now. Oh, I hate them. They're so spooky. 
They're like little dinosaurs, but like their legs are like bugs. It's so creepy. You did it! Come on back! The jetpack is yours! Ooh, I got all of them. That's nice. Look at me go. That's spooky. That's terrifying. Alright, uh yeah, let's go. Can we swing back this way? Is that how this works? I guess that's what we're supposed to do. Whee! I like how they ha tell you where to go with the little indicators. That's nice. A deal's a deal. Here you go. I tell you what. I actually have a top secret Drek Industries info pot. If you bring me a few more brains, I might be willing to part with it. You really have a thing for brains, don't you? Yes, I do. And with that jetpack, Ratchet became the aerial scourge of a thousand thousand worlds. Or at least his commute got easier. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. This is, I feel like this is gonna be, I, I think I've seen this before. It's like, oh, the well, telepath was brave is a wondrously complex yeah, it's, organ. So it's I might have to write a paper about it. Same as uh, in the other game Ratchet when you got that little levitator thing. High above hostile territory. Yeah, it's so good. So we can just like fly around now as long as there's like a little jetpack recharging station. That's very nice. I like that. Anyway, that's cool that that guy's like not a bad guy. He's actually like a good guy. Okay, let's go up here. Let's get these guys. How many brains do we need? 20? Holy cow. All the most difficult has been trying to say the word telepathopus ten times fast. I believe it is impossible. Telepathopus, 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 see. That's so good. Uh... Telepathopus. There you go. There I said it. Because I know there's going to be like some people that are like, Oh, I want you to say it. I was wondering how we were going to get around to these places. But like with this jetpack thing, it's amazing. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. But I guess we're using it now. Da -da -da -da. Perfect. All the bolts. Oh, kill the sand shark. Uh, I wonder if we'll be able to get to that gold bolt now, now that we have the jetpack thing, because we can fly around like literally everywhere. So, let's go up here. That kind of means like almost anywhere is basically available for us to go now, meaning there could be like brains anywhere here. Like I think they come from that giant thing, I think that's what they, he was talking about. But uh, yeah, oh let's use the pixelizer on these dudes, let's see what they look like then. Leveled up! Can we use it on like this big guy? Is that a thing? Oh, oh, he didn't like that very much. Oh, he's a big boy. He's a very big boy. Oh, that's the wrong button again. Oh, okay, he dies easy compared to uh, the Blargy and Snaggle Beast. Nope. Let's get out of here. Let's fly like straight up here because this should be fine. And we'll attack him from up here. Now, will this give me like one brain or like two brains? Is that a thing? Like the horns and the Leviathan souls, they give you like three or two for each of the big monsters, but only one for like the things on the ground. I don't know if that's a thing, but. Oh, we only got like a little bit of power left. Oh, we did it! Sweet! Don't, I didn't see how many things we got, but... Uh, let's go down here. There we go. More of these dudes. I'm sorry, I'm like focusing on trying not to die here, but it's... It's fun, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm enjoying the, uh, the big thing. Oh, and these guys! These little... Pterodactyl dudes. Oh man, everything. Th so they basically mix like this planet up with like hey, I just realized. the green one. If I'm a scientist and I spend all my time studying brains. I should introduce myself at parties as a brain scientist. That sounds much more impressive than a assistant blarg outpost consultant. <laughs> 
Yeah, sure. I'm sure people would love it if you were a brain scientist or like whatever the scientific term is for a brain, if there is one. There probably is one. But I don't know it. Alright, uh, let's go to... let's use the combustor a bit more. We have nothing up to level 5 yet, so I don't know if these weapons will change like their look and such when they get to level 5. Which they should, but you never know. Maybe it's level 10. And if it's level 10, that means we're like nowhere close to being near the end of this game. Which is good, because I want to keep playing it longer and longer and longer each day. But... Oh, it's telling me how to change controls again. Get that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Hmm. All right. This is just a geyser of lava, so that's not that helpful. I think there was guys over here. I just wanted to make sure I got everything that was in this area. Is there something up there? Oh, there is. Let's go for it. Dun -da 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 -dun -da -da. Hey, guys. Thanks, Mr. Zircon. I was... <laughs> I, I took him out because I'm like, I, I'm not going to be able to kill these guys. Mr. Zircon will punch you in the face. Da, 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 da. Why do you hide, stinky aliens? All right, down over here. Okay, this is like a three-button thing. Do, 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 do. Hey, looks like you found one of my telepathopus traps. You'll have to free it before you can collect its brain. <laughs> that guy's so awesome. He's like one of those amazing characters in this game that's like hilarious but also like serious about. Everything. He's not really that serious, he's really funny because he's like a bad guy, blarg, but, you know, still pretty great. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This thing looks like a giant uh, seahorse type creature that can fly with a giant head. Kind of like those things that are on, uh, that were on, uh, what's it called, Pokotaru in the other game. They're very what it reminds me of. Oh boy, this is hurting a lot. A lot. Uh, we're almost there. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, he's dead. Perfect. Alright. Uh yeah, we need to find some nanotech stat. That looks like the volcano that you can run into. I would be out there collecting brains myself, but my but doctor told this, me this. I have a bad case of cow finger. I have no idea what that means, but he said to stand in one place as much as possible and it might heal itself. If I could just get people to stop trying to tip me over. Maybe I should get a second opinion. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, all the jokes are good. There's like, they're amazing. I love them. Okay, uh, let's go down here. I was gonna go check out that volcano thing, but I think we should keep collecting the brains for now. Oh boy. Uh, uh let's use the, the Parasitoar. It's me just pronouncing it really funny on purpose. Near home. Okay, we could probably use some ammo some point. Oh, and some health. Okay, let's go see if we can find that. Oh, right here. And eh, didn't give me that much. Let's get that brain and get out of here. Sweet brains. Come to Papa. <laughs> okay, let's bring these back to him. And then I'm gonna also pick up some thing and oh we got some more brains like all over the place though still like so is he gonna give us cash for collecting them all or maybe some special reward or something? Which was the case in the other game, and ended up just being the plumber, but you know. I wanna do it. I wanna collect them all. Pokemon style. The Telepathopus army is as good as mine! Here's your info bot. Remember, you didn't get it from me. Good evening, fellow blog. Chairman Trek here, with the latest update on our quest for a new home. Over the next few days, you may notice an increase in Blarg activity around the galaxy. 
while this may alert the authorities to our plan, this move is critical to securing safe passage for our harvesters. Case in point, the Star Watch defense cannon on planet Batalia. This surface-to-space ion cannon has been protecting the galaxy from invasions ever since we were first driven underground. With this out of commission, our glorious plan can continue! Preparations are already underway, so fear not, stay the course, etc., yada yada yada. Once we eliminate Star Watch and its surrounding forces, we'll enter the final stages of my plan. <laughs> We've got to stop Drek from destroying that Star Watch defense cannon. My records show that the cannon is on the planet Battalia. I just hope we're not too late. If you're looking for a little extra work, I'll pay a nice reward for collecting any remaining brains in this area. If you find them all, I'll even throw in a special bonus. Oh, what's the bonus? What is it? I want the bonus. Oh, we got it. We got to do that. I, I'm gonna let's go. Let's go start collecting them. This thing and Battalia is. I think that's the planet that had like the the army dude on it before, and you had to like shoot things and such. I think that's where the, the, that planet was. I'm pretty sure. If it wasn't, then I'm I'm really missing something here. But <laughs> yeah, let's go collect all these brains because I know this is like one of those hundred percent kind of things. Blah 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 blah. But no, I gotta. I gotta get them all. Telepathopus brains. If my experiments succeed, I'll be leading the charge into a new frontier. All my experiments will fail, and this will all be pointless. Either way, <laughs> at least I'm keeping busy. <laughs> oh, I didn't pick up ammo. That was the other thing we were gonna do while we were doing that. Oh man, I screwed up. Uh, wait. Okay, let's look at the map. Does it, does it show us the brains, or is that like something else that we gotta get? Oh, okay. So we just gotta learn ourselves. Okay, let's go around and. Uh, start collecting these things. It's almost the end of this episode, but uh, maybe we'll go in down here to the secret place. See if we can get in here, mate. Maybe that's the thing? Yeah, see, this is that secret. This is the secret secret. Not really sure how we're gonna get down there, but oh, hello, friend. I'm out of here, bye. All right, so. In the, uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna probably end this episode here while I'm flying around, but I want to thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Ratchet and Clank. In the next one, we're gonna continue collecting, uh, brains, hopefully collect all of them, and if I can't find them all, like, at once, we'll probably end up cutting a lot, but, you know, hopefully I can find them all, and then, uh, we'll head on over to Planet Battalia, probably, after that, so, um, yeah, once again, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this episode, and I will see you guys next time, where... We will hopefully get Never whatever this smell is. Smell a telepathopus brain? Smells like cotton candy. Weird, huh? That is very strange. Thanks for telling me that. Anyway, goodbye for now, my friends.